you want to know how to use system one quicker. There's loads of keyboard shortcuts that you may or may not have come across and using them can speed up the way that you use system one to make your life just that little bit easier and definitely a lot quicker. In this episode, I'm going to show you about 15 keyboard shortcuts and a couple of bonus ones. They're going to make your life so much easier. So make sure you stick around right till the end as we get through them right here, right now. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. Hey, GP learners. Let's show you my quick shortcuts for using System 1 to save you time. When I start the day, I like to look at my overview because I like that complete view of the practice, both myself and what's going on in the other parts of the practice, and particularly if I'm on triage and things like that. So to access the appointment overview, it's Control and Q. Now, I know many people prefer the ledger view where they've got them on different columns and stuff and stacked up. So to access that, it's Control, Shift and L. I'm not gonna be able to show you those in more detail right now because it brings up patient data when I do that. Speaking of patients, let's go search for a patient, shall we? So to do that, it's F10. And when you press that, it brings up the patient viewer like this. And then you can search for patients. As you can see, I've already got our test patient, Minnie Mouse, linked up. However, if you were to then press Control and F10 whilst you're in a patient, it'll bring up other people in the same household. Now, nobody else lives with Minnie. I wonder what Mickey's been up to. Bit annoying there, isn't it? But anyway, let's crack on, shall we? So once you're in the patient's record, you can then access various different parts from here. If you want to go through the clinical tree, one option is to hold down control and it'll bring up, as you can see just here, the various different shortcuts to go to the tabs on the clinical tree. So for example, if I want to go to medication, it's going to be control and four. If I want to go to the repeat medications for a patient, it's control and five. Now, I don't want to do that. It's quick navigation. It may save you a few seconds and seconds is really important. Alternately, one of the things I often do is when I'm doing medication reviews is then I can go straight to the repeat templates and look at the medications I want to review. So let's select a few from here. And now I have the option of doing something really cool, which if you don't know about this, it's going to save you a lot of time. So when I want to review medications, I may want to just advance them till today so I can issue the medication or I may want to advance them to a time in the future but that's not the default setting for ours, for example, which is six months. So a quick way of doing that is just select the top one and press T. So that means today. Now I can leave it at that and it will just allow me to issue one lot of repeats from today. Alternately, I can advance it a little bit further and it'll allow potentially another issue in the future. It's up to you what works from that point. But to quick shortcut a lot of these, if you use certain codes, so T for today, and then I can do one M for one month. And as you can see by pressing tab, it's already advanced it by one month. Now you can do one month, you can do one day, you can do three weeks, you can do one year if you want to. It doesn't quite work with one year on the medications ones, but various other shortcut tabs, it works. So if you're doing reports, reviews, all that kind of stuff, it's the same principle. You can also go backwards when you're searching for information. Again, that doesn't work on the medications one here because you technically can't review for a day in the past. But it's a really quick way of doing things. And then if you want to synchronize them, just click synchronize review dates and it does it for all the ones there. So all of these selected medications are now reviewed for a month. Next up, I may want to jump to the patient's record and search for something. So if I press control and S, that'll take me straight to search in the patient's record. And as you can see, I've been testing it by searching for my own name for the last time I've had contact with this patient. That's a really useful tip, particularly if you're searching for specific information, for example, when you're on call, that kind of thing quick way of getting to the information for the patient. What about if you want to print a prescription? So quick way of doing this is pressing Alt and P. And when you do that, it'll print off any unprinted medications or if there aren't any, a repeat list. That's useful and that's quick. Alternately, if you want to print off a letter, it's Alt and L. And by doing so, it'll give you the option of which letter you want to print and which printer you want to send it to and stuff. Nice and easy, quick to do, as you can see. So those are the main shortcuts within the patient record, but I now want to go and save what I've done. So I'm just going to press F6 and that saves the patient record and it closes that particular patient down. What can I do next? Well, how about I want to go to my task list? I could click at the top and navigate around. Alternately, I could press Control and T and be taken straight to my task list. Now, the reason why it's blank is because I've already set it to go to the filter section. So again, you can't see the patients I'm dealing with and I'm not showing any data then, but normally it will default to go into the, pay, the tasks that you have specifically. What if I want to check out the visit situation at the practice? 
Well, it's Control and H for home. So let's do that now. And as you can see, thankfully, no visits at this time. So we've covered a fair few tips there. Hopefully there's been quite a few that you've liked. If you have done, click the like button below and make sure you subscribe and leave a comment to know which has been your favorite tip so far. But I've still got a few more to go. Specifically, my last three tips are about navigating the whole system. So number one is if you press F8 and that takes you to the main home screen where you can see your initial dashboard of what you need to know, as well as the update section from system one. Always worth keeping an eye out on that particular one. If you want to find the test patients for your practice, particularly if you've forgotten the name or if you work in multiple practices and you're not sure the names of them, just go to the bottom search box, as you can see down here, type in test. And as you can see, test patients comes up. Click onto that and you've got all the various different test patients that you may want to access. The last tip is the one that gets you out of the system one quickly and effectively, and that's Alt and F4. I hope you found that useful EGP learners. If you want to check out more information about how to use System 1 more effectively, check out this video playlist right up here. And YouTube's probably recommending another video for you right here. Make sure you subscribe right here, and I'll catch you in the next episode as we try and save you and your patient's time by tech enhancing your primary care and learning. Catch you then.